The question is, how many bonds can nitrogen form? So we're talking about covalent bonds here. So if we look at nitrogen on the periodic table, let's just draw nitrogen, that's the element symbol. Group one on the periodic table, these all have one valence electron, two valence electrons. We skip the transition metals, they're a little bit complicated. Group 13, sometimes called 3A, has three, 14 has four, and right here, nitrogen in group 15, sometimes called 5A, it has five valence electrons. So let's draw them around the nitrogen atom. So we have these three unpaired electrons. So for example, if hydrogen, which is in group one, it has one valence electron, that were to bond with nitrogen, the hydrogen shares its one electron, the nitrogen shares an electron, hydrogen only needs two valence electrons for a full outer shell. So this hydrogen is very stable. We could put another hydrogen up here, sharing its one valence electron, and then let's get rid of this to give ourselves some room. Our last hydrogen we'll put down here, and that'll share an electron. So now each of the hydrogen has two, which is good, and the nitrogen has eight, it has an octet. So nitrogen here is forming three covalent bonds. So we could say that nitrogen forms three covalent bonds. And in general, nitrogen does form three covalent bonds. There is an exception we should look at though. NH4 plus is the ammonium ion. And what happens is we have a hydrogen ion. This doesn't have any valence electrons. It's gonna come over here and then it's gonna share with the nitrogen. That means that this whole thing will now have a positive charge. The nitrogen, it now still has the eight valence electrons, but each of these hydrogens has two, so everything is stable. So in this case, nitrogen has four covalent bonds, but this one right here is called a coordinate covalent bond because all of the electrons, they came from the nitrogen here. The hydrogen didn't bring any when it bonded. And we have this plus, this is a positive ion. So back to our original question, most of the time, nitrogen, that's gonna form three bonds. However, we do have some instances like with the ammonium ion where we could have a coordinate covalent bond as well, and nitrogen could bond to four things. This is Dr. B with the number of bonds that nitrogen can form. Thanks for watching.